and I'm trying to get my wife back. Try to have to show her that though. Um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect uh, can create suspicion. After 39 years, Judge Greg Mathis and wife Linda are calling it quits. You have to understand that marriage and love is give and take. I've heard everything from Judge Mathis got a whole side family, allegedly, to Judge Mathis living in his truth. How you doing? Allegedly. We've got a juicy tale of marital drama unfolding in the public eye, and it involves none other than the esteemed Judge Mathis. This courtroom titan is now facing his own personal trial as his wife of nearly four decades, Linda, has decided to call it quits. 39 years of wedded bliss or so we thought, suddenly crumbling like a house of cards. Judge Mathis has finally broken his silence on this messy affair, and boy, does he have some explaining to do. The judge claims neglect was the culprit behind their crumbling union. He's been burning the candle at both ends, jetting off here and there, leaving poor Linda feeling like a forgotten houseplant. When TMZ cornered the judge about potential infidelity, his response was more evasive than a seasoned criminal on the stand. He danced around the question with the finesse of a lawyer avoiding a perjury trap. Now let's be real for a second. If someone accused you of stepping out on your partner of 40 years, wouldn't you deny it faster than a judge could bang a gavel? The internet, being the relentless rumor mill it is, has gone into overdrive. We're talking wild allegations that would make even the most scandalous soap opera blush. From multiple affairs to secret love children, and even whispers of the judge playing for both teams, what solid evidence do we have of the judge's alleged infidelity? And what's the deal with his proclamation to fight for his marriage? Is this a genuine attempt at reconciliation, or is he just trying to keep a lid on a boiling pot of secrets? My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your wife. A fresh-faced 18-year-old Greg Mattis, before he donned the robes and became the judge we all know, bumping into Linda Ree on the campus of Eastern Michigan University. Talk about a meet-cute with a twist. Young Greg had just been dealt a cruel blow by fate, losing his mother mere months into his college journey. Enter Linda, a beacon of light in his darkest hour. Who would have thought that this chance encounter would spark a love affair spanning nearly four decades? Fast forward to June 1985, and wedding bells are ringing. Their firstborn, Jade, actually beat them to the altar, arriving in May of the same year. Talk about cutting it close! The Mattis clan continued to grow, welcoming Chimra, Greg Jr., and Amir in quick succession. Before they knew it, they were knee-deep in diapers and college funds. As Judge Mattis's star rose in the courtroom, he decided to give us all a peek behind the curtain with Mattis Family Matters. What is it that you want to, want people to take away from that part of it? I, I want people to take away from uh, observing our marriage and the length of time that uh, our marriage is just like anyone else's. We just didn't, we just don't give up. Yeah. And that's so true. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you can agree with that. <laughs> Absolutely. And Judge, you know, we're learning a lot. The court papers, snagged by those eager beavers at People magazine, spilled the tea on a separation date of July 17, 2024. Linda's citing those oh-so-vague, irreconcilable differences, a phrase that could mean anything from leaving the toilet seat up to, well, use your imagination. Now here's where things get spicy. Linda's gunning for spousal support. The million-dollar question on everyone's lips is, did they or didn't they sign a prenup? Remember, folks, when these lovebirds said I do, Judge Mathis was just plain old Greg, fresh out of college, not the Emmy-winning TV personality we know today. If there's no prenup in sight, well, let's just say things could get messier than a food fight in divorce court. But here's the kicker. Up until recently, these two were serving up darn couple goals like it was going out of style. We're talking lovey-dovey social media posts, all smiles at the influencers' brunch in March. Heck, they were even chatting up a storm about their reality show, Mathis Family Matters, painting a picture of domestic harmony that would make the Brady Bunch look dysfunctional. During that fateful interview with Balor Alert, Judge Mathis was waxing lyrical about their tight-knit family dynamic. We are a wholesome family, he proclaimed, probably while adjusting his halo. We all have our flaws, but we don't fight. Never have. 
He even threw shade at other reality TV families, saying they weren't about to stir up fake drama for ratings. We're left scratching our heads, trying to piece together what went down between March and that fateful July 17th separation date. Did Linda just throw a dart at a calendar, or is there more to this story than meets the eye? It's like we're watching a real-life soap opera unfold. One minute, the Matheses are serving up family goals like a Thanksgiving feast, and the next, they're calling it quits faster than you can say, order in the court. Was this a slow-burning fuse of discontent, or did something explosive go down behind those perfectly curated social media posts? Now, hold on to your wigs, because the rumor mill is churning out some piping hot tea. The internet streets are buzzing louder than a swarm of angry bees, and the gossip is juicier than a ripe peach. We're talking allegations that would make even the most scandalous reality TV show blush. Word on the street is that Judge Mathis might have been playing hide-and-seek with his wedding vows for who knows how long, but that's just the appetizer in this buffet of scandal. Brace yourselves for the main course, whispers of a secret love child and, wait for it, rumors that the judge might have been batting for both teams, allegedly caught in a compromising situation with a younger man. But here's the million-dollar question that's got everyone's tongues wagging. Why hasn't Judge Mathis come out swinging, denying these rumors left and right? If he's as innocent as a newborn babe, wouldn't he be shouting it from the rooftops? Let's rewind the tape a bit, shall we? While everyone's busy speculating about potential infidelities, some folks are digging up dirt from the judge's not-so-distant past. Remember that little incident last July? Our honorable judge allegedly went all Wild West on some LA city workers, supposedly flashing a gun faster than you can say objection. All because they asked him to move his car? Talk about overreacting. But wait, there's more. Just when you thought Judge Mathis couldn't ruffle any more feathers, he goes and gets into a tiff with none other than the king of beef himself, 50 Cent. Vivica Fox and Judge Mathis are out there hustling their new BET flick, First Lady of BMF, the Tonisa Welch story, when 50 Cent decides to crash the party via Instagram. He's throwing shade darker than a total eclipse, accusing Vivica of not letting go and questioning why on earth Judge Mathis is even in the mix. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Instead of taking the high road, our judge decides to clap back at 50 Cent. He's all, there's enough money for everyone, but then turns around and basically says, but if you want beef, I'm ready to serve it up. Talk about a plot twist. Yo, like, how well, you he guys... mentioned my name first. Yeah, why? That's the only reason I said it, because <laughs> he put his name in my mouth. Well, listen, listen. You know what? I mean, he put my name in his, in his mouth. And then, you know what? That's fair. That's, That's fair. how we operate. He's from the street. I'm from the street. <laughs> yeah. He was shot nine times. I've been shot two. He got, You've been shot? Yes, absolutely. Really? You want to see it? Right on my ankle. Really? Yes, I do, actually. Really. I want to see it. I didn't know you that. You want to see the gunshot? And see, you're going to really get caught up. <laughs> about to fall down in the airport. Yeah, I got you. See that? Oh yeah! Shot right there. Wow! Hey, you so know I've been what? Shot just like 50. Hey, 50, back off! Yeah, all right, hey, back off, my man. Back off! Back he all right man. with me. Now let's not jump to conclusions, but it's clear that the judge's temper isn't just for show. We've seen it flare up more times than a faulty lighter, leaving everyone wondering what goes on when the cameras aren't rolling. Is he really Mr. Hyde behind closed doors? But hold on to your gavels because the rumor mill is working overtime. The hottest gossip on the street. Linda supposedly caught the judge with his hand in the cookie jar earlier this year. And we're not talking about a one-time slip-up, oh no. Word on the street is that our legal eagle's been flying to different nests across the country. As if that wasn't spicy enough, there's talk of a love child in the mix. Allegedly, one of these sneaky links resulted in a mini Mathis, pushing Linda to file for divorce faster than you can say paternity test. Was she trying to beat the baby mama to the punch? Some anonymous tipsters are whispering that the real reason behind this marital meltdown is that Judge Mathis might be ready to switch teams altogether. Could this be his way of living his truth without looking like the bad guy? Judge Mathis finally broke his silence, and boy was it a performance. Picture this, a teary-eyed judge at the airport confessing his shortcomings as a husband. He's talking about fighting for his marriage, but when confronted about those juicy infidelity rumors, Mathis, how are you today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to ask... I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? I'm not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man... Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other men. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. 
see how many at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your life. So I do want to ask, you know, the date of separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being, making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road doing the same thing and uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But it was, I was gone for three weeks. That's what July 17th meant. Judge Mattis made it clear that he's not ready to walk away from his marriage just yet. He's fully committed to doing whatever it takes to repair the relationship and win Linda back, all while they continue to share the same home. His resolve to fix things remains strong. Are you in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try to have to show her that though. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm going to get my wife back. How about okay, that? Absolutely. Before TMZ could even bring up any of the swirling rumors, Judge Mattis took the initiative to address the online gossip head on. He made it clear that he wanted to clear the air, especially regarding some outrageous claims involving a child, which was particularly strange since no one had actually accused him of that. Check this out. I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors too, that it's something about a baby or even me, uh, my, my child. It's none of that. I've just told you what it is. So get this, out of absolutely nowhere, the judge starts babbling about PDF file rumors. I mean, talk about coming out of left field. TMZ didn't breathe a word about it. Nobody was even thinking in that direction, and suddenly, bam, he's defending himself against accusations nobody made. It's like he's shadowboxing with his own conscience. Now I'm not saying he's hiding something, but if this were a courtroom, that kind of deflection would have the jury raising more eyebrows than a Botox convention. It's almost as if he's trying to throw us off the scent of something else. But what? The plot thickens. But let's backpedal for a hot second and dive into those juicy infidelity rumors. Here's where things get really interesting, folks. When TMZ cornered him with the million-dollar question about cheating, our wordsmith judge pulled a classic lawyer move. He danced around that question like it was a legal tango. Instead of a straightforward, no, I didn't cheat, we got this gem. Infidelity wasn't the purpose and reason behind the separation. Well, butter my biscuit and call me confused. That's about as clear as mud on a rainy day. He didn't deny being unfaithful. He just said it wasn't the purpose of the split. Talk about leaving the door wide open for speculation. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect uh, can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there was none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this. Let's break this down, shall we? When cornered about those juicy infidelity rumors, our legal eagle suddenly developed a case of selective muteness. He was quick to swat away allegations nobody even whispered, but when it came to the million-dollar question about stepping out on Linda? Crickets, folks. Now, I'm no body language expert, but even Stevie Wonder could see through this performance. One fan hit the nail on the head, calling him out for being calculating and full of it. Ouch. But are they wrong? That non-denial was about as transparent as a glass of water. And let's talk about Linda for a hot second. After nearly four decades of marriage, you don't just wake up one day and decide to call it quits over spilled milk. As one astute commenter pointed out, we as women are very vocal about what we want, need, and expect. So, has the good judge been turning a deaf ear to his better half all these years? The internet jury seems to have reached a verdict, and it's not looking good for Judge Mathis. One person summed it up perfectly. His body language and his stumbling says everything. Guilty. Looks like the court of public opinion isn't buying what he's selling. So what's the end game here? 
Is Judge Mathis really fighting for his marriage, or is he just trying to save face? And maybe his wallet? Can he charm his way back into Linda's good graces, or has that ship sailed faster than you can say divorce settlement?